It has been an interesting and historic week here at Bloomberg News. With me, Editor-in-Chief Matthew Winkler uh, on this Friday afternoon. East of Nashville, there is a hermitage, Andrew Jackson's wonderful place. The trees are perfectly done and all that heritage of him fighting the big banks. This is different, fighting a central bank, but it has been part of our nation's history to be suspect about institutions. Mark Pittman came to you and he said, "This we need this information. Tell us about that first conversation. Um, well, first of all, you're absolutely right, Tom. Um, you know, the whole history of the United States has really been a debate about a central bank uh, right. throughout history. And Mark Pittman uh, was a fabulous, uh, persistent uh, reporter who covered credit markets. And when the Fed began to make unprecedented loans to financial institutions starting in 2007 right. at the uh, beginning of what became the worst financial crisis in our time. Uh, he wasn't getting anywhere asking they questions. They just said no. They said no. Let's bring up this quote. This is from Matthew Winkler. See it at Bloomberg.com. It's not bad. Bring this up here. Uh, on Mr. Pittman, uh, passing away unexpectedly, far too young an age, who reported on credit markets. He sued through Bloomberg News' parent company under the Freedom of Information Act. Now, you move forward from that to this lawsuit. Were you surprised at the response of the Fed? No, actually, I wasn't. Um, you know, there has been an assumption made, I think a mistaken one, that uh, it's okay for the Fed to keep from the public all kinds of things having to do with finance. And it wasn't until this financial catastrophe hit everybody mm -hmm. that people, starting with Mark Pittman, said, wait a second, isn't the central bank of the United States for the people of the United States? And if it is, mm -hmm. and if it's working on their behalf, aren't the people of the United States okay. entitled to know what it's doing? And I featured Craig Torres' article yesterday with Mr. Lynch down in Washington, which I thought was a great concision of the two sides. I mean, in every Supreme Court debate, there's two sides. Marvin Goodfriend, the conservative, I'm editorializing there, I'm in trouble with Matt Winkler, um, uh, Marvin Goodfriend at Carnegie Mellon saying this is a modern move that you've facilitated. It's a modern time, a modern uh, uh, a moment, and we need new transparency we maybe didn't need in the time of McChesney Martin. Well, I would say, Tom, first of all, transparency is a benefit for everyone. It will never not be a benefit. Transparency makes uh, sense in any situation, and that's really what this was all right. about. It was just bringing transparency to finance. Why should money be off limits when everything else is on the table. I, I don't disagree with that at all. Let's bring up the pushback. Donald Cohn, the former vice chairman, and Craig had this in his story brilliantly. I am concerned that in the next crisis, it will be more difficult uh, for the Federal Reserve to play the traditional role of lender of last resort. Do you share that concern? Well, he knows far more than I do about banking, and I couldn't begin you know, to uh, presume what he knows. I will say this, though. Um, I think disclosure, full disclosure and transparency is a wonderful motivation for people doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. And we got into trouble by banks financing in the dark, doing all kinds of things in the dark. So if there's sunlight, I just think that people will be behaved better and we won't have some of the excesses that got us to this point. What is next? Our team in Washington has had time to begin to digest a four kajillion, zillion pages of stuff. But in terms of transparency, as you worked with Reg FD, that's when I first saw you on television, we were younger. There was a transparency of Reg FD in those corporate meetings I used to go to. Now there's transparency here at the discount window. Where's the next transparency battle? You know. How about the budget? How about the federal budget? Arguably the most important document, <laughs> and everybody's talking about it. Yeah. But uh, do you know what's in it? Can you show me right now? I don't think anyone can. We'd love to make that transparent. Well, that would be good. What about this event when you spoke to uh, your Washington team uh, yesterday? What would you like to see come out of the paperwork? Do we just grind through it with all the other well, news know, we're, agencies? Tom, we're already learning from these documents far more than actually I thought was possible. And European banks. And, oh, you know, when, when we 
got to the point where he said, wow, these documents are going to be released. One of us joked, yeah, we'll probably find Libya in the middle of them. And lo and behold, there yeah. it is. So um, actually, it, it has been, um, no, all kidding aside, it has been really a wonderful event. Mm -hmm. and, and here's why. We have learned that uh, Banks have done things at the discount window that they said they didn't do. Mm -hmm. And so just for the historical record, we now mm -hmm. know far more about what happened right. in this period than we would have known had this uh, remained off limits. Right. Matt Winkler, thank you so much. Uh, see much more on this at Bloomberg.com and, of course, on the terminal under op-ed. Uh,